New information on a Team 5 investigates exclusive. The Justice Department's new investigation into the Boston FBI. Now, as Michelle McPhee reports, a Wakefield man wants to sue the agency. He claims a mob informant secretly working for the FBI in Boston at the time was involved in the murder of his only son. Michael Romano was 20 years old and newlywed with a baby on the way and a daughter at home when he was shot dead, changing a tire in an Everett parking lot in 1994. His murder remains unsolved, and now his father tells Team 5 he plans to sue the FBI. In an interview from his federal prison cell, Michael Romano Sr. accuses the agency of protecting their informants, emboldening them to embark on a killing spree that claimed the life of his son. The father's worst nightmare. Here you have the FBI protecting a gang of known killers. Mark Rossetti was one of those paid informants on par with Whitey Bulger, both men active in the bloody mob wars of the early 1990s. Michael Romano Jr. was one victim, another state trooper Mark Charbonnier. The man convicted of killing Charbonnier, David Clark, was Rossetti's soldier his right-hand man. And now, for the first time, investigators say Clark made a cell phone call in Everett around the time Romano was killed. Six hours later, Clark shot Charbonnier dead. Investigators believe he was on the run from the Romano hit when the trooper pulled him over, and he reacted by opening fire on Charbonnier. But the investigation was all about the trooper. They didn't really care about Mikey. The elder Romano admits he took matters into his own hands. The feds charged him with plotting to kill the men he blamed for his son's death. Right now, he is serving 21 years. I did what I did, and I'll admit to that. He says he'll file this lawsuit against the FBI, not for the $25 million in damages, but for answers. It's never been about money. It is about a father that lost a son and daughters that I had to pick up off, off his grave and taste their tears. If they're going to make deals, well, they need to be held responsible for it. Congressman Stephen Lynch's office told me he's expecting to be briefed on the investigation into the Rossetti matter any day now. The FBI declined to comment. Michelle McPhee, News Center 5.